let us have our final example for cylindrical shell method that is example number three find the volume of a sphere using cylindrical shell method so let us recall the standard form for a circle that is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared where the center there is at the origin from zero zero so if we are going to graph that so this is your circle this is your x-axis this is your y-axis so if that is the radius that is positive r this is negative r this is negative r this is positive r okay to be able to get the volume of a sphere let us revolve that around y-axis if you're going to revolve that at the x-axis it's the same since the radius is the same and that is at the origin so if we're going to revolve that around the y-axis let us use vertical strip since that is parallel to the axis of revolution so that is dx this is y okay so our formula would be dv is equal to 2 pi x y dx okay so if we're going to substitute the values that is dv is equal to 2 pi x and your y there is y upper minus y lower your y upper there is this one so if we're going to get the equation for this in terms of y that is y squared is equal to r squared transposing that that is minus x squared okay to be able to get y let us get the square root for that that is r squared minus x squared so your value for y here is the square root of r squared minus x squared that is your y upper and your y lower is equal to zero since it touches the x-axis already so that is dx okay let's first differentiate differentiating r squared minus x squared so it will give us since r squared is constant that is zero minus so differentiating this one that will become 2x dx so that is negative 2x dx okay rewriting our formula that is dv is equal to 2 pi times r squared minus x squared that is raised to one half and that is x dx since this is x dx and the differential for this one is negative 2x dx let us manipulate our formula it will become dv is equal to 2 pi times r squared minus x squared raised to one half that is negative 2x dx since we multiply negative 2 let us divide it by negative 1 half okay since that is negative 2 times negative 1 half that will give us 1 so it is the same so if we're going to get the integral for that that is the integral of dv let us cancel this let's cancel this one and here so let us bring out negative here that is equal to negative pi times r squared minus x squared raised to one half times negative 2x dx okay that is the integral so it will give us v is equal to negative pi the integral of r squared minus x squared raised to one half negative 2x dx and for the limit for that since that is in terms of dx so that is from 0 to r okay so since negative 2x dx satisfies this one this um, term this equation so we are ready now to get the integral for that that is negative pi so the integral for that that is r squared minus x squared so one half plus one over one half plus one okay so 
our 1 half plus 1 is equal to, let's get the least common denominator, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1, times 1, that is 1, plus 2 divided by 1, times 1, that is 2, so that is 3 halves. Okay, so that is negative pi times r squared minus x squared raised to 3 halves over 3 halves. Okay, let's get the reciprocal for this one. So that will give us negative pi times 2 thirds times r squared minus x squared raised to 3 halves. So our limit is from 0 to r. Okay, substituting the limits to the equation that is v is equal to negative 2 thirds pi times r squared minus our upper that is r squared raised to 3 halves minus lower that is negative 2 thirds pi times r squared minus since x there is 0 that is 0 squared raised to 3 halves okay simplifying further this will cancel since r squared minus r squared that this will give us 0 so let us get that one that is negative times negative 2 thirds pi times that is r raised to 2 raised to 3 halves okay so simplifying that further that is negative times negative that is positive so that is 2 thirds pi so for this one that is r that is 3 halves times 2, that is 6 over 2. So, it will give us 2 thirds pi r. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, that is our answer, cubic units. But, that is from 0 to r. So, if we're going to get the volume for this sphere, that is from 0, negative r, until positive r so we're going to multiply this by 2 so v is equal to 2 thirds pi r cubed times 2 it will give us 4 thirds pi r cubed cubic units so that is the volume for sphere